What's up, everybody? This your boy, Shafer. Tuning in with me today on Anime Shay, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to play a Sega emulator. I've been asked a few times by a couple of people that's on my channel, and um, I appreciate you for watching the videos that I do put up. And um, I just want to give an example, a tutorial on how do we basically put these Sega games on my phone and play them. And uh, so if you're interested, join in. And to start off, um, I am going to show you. Wait a second. Okay. Gen Plus Droid. Now, there's many ways you can do this. It's all up to you, personal preference. But once, uh, once you basically download gen plus draw or you can type in sega emulator i'll show you from the play store to begin with wherever play store is at move this so we're going to type in type in sega sega emulator so that you can just type it in like that it should be like the first or second one move this out the way you scroll scroll yeah okay so here we go Basically, you're going to scroll, and you're going to see Gen Plus Droid. Now, if you want to use a different emulator, that's up to you, but I know how to use this one for a fact, 100%. I don't really mess with too many other ones once I got one down packed, so it's up to you, personal preference. Okay, but, um, oh, and if you hear that background noise, there's people swimming in the pool at my complex. Um, I'm actually outside. But anyway, so you're going to install that. Once you install it, you're going to open it. And there's one thing about it when you open it and to go to load the ROM, you're going to have to look for where it went. And it's going to be, you're going to hit parent directory, and you're going to hit parent directory again, and you're going to go to download. So you're going to go to the D's. And once you get to D's, you're going to hit download or wherever the game went, wherever you put it, or wherever, if you put it anywhere, and if that's the case. And you're going to click on whichever Sega game that you downloaded. So, Streets of Rage 2. I want to play Streets of Rage 2. You're going to click on it, and I believe it's like the first or second one. Whichever one is the biggest, supposedly. I think that's the file for the game. Um, so, I'm going to try this one. Yeah, so it comes on. Or at least I think it comes on. Okay, I may have clicked on the wrong freaking one. Try this again. Sorry about that. I'm going to load the ROM, hit parent directory. Parent directory, go to your download folder. And then you're going to hit, or let's try Contra, Hard Corps. And you're going to go to the one with the BIN or whatever file you know you downloaded exactly how it looks you're gonna click that file it's gonna come on the game is gonna play and basically you have your Sega games um now this particular person asked me about Pac-Man the only thing is when you download the games I will show you you can go to free ROMs FreeRoms.com. Once you get to FreeRoms.com, you can basically look up any old video game. Not even old video games. You can look up like PlayStation, like PSP and Sheesh, Game Boy Advance, all this other stuff, Dreamcast. Mostly old games. Um, some websites have Nintendo DS emulators and whatnot. But anyway, you're gonna go to this. You're basically going to find whatever game you're looking for. Sega, whatever, whatever. Sega Dreamcast, Dazzy Dazzy. Or you're going to just click on Genesis. That's for the regular Sega. You're going to go to Pac-Man, whatever game you're looking for. Just hit the letter. It brings up the games. Basically, self-explanatory stuff. 
but some games you have Japanese versions, other versions, hack versions, cheat code, hack versions, betas, all type of stuff. So same as with other games on the other consoles. Um, basically, you can get whatever you want to get. But um, if that's too much for you, I do have another way that I deal with getting my video games. I go to Game Boy Color AD whatever the AD is for, I don't care, but um, I basically sort, search for games that I'm looking for and go from there, so when I type in Pokemon, boom, Pokemon, and see this is a whole nother app, basically a Game Boy Color emulator, but it takes you to other games and whatnot, so right now I can go from Nintendo to Super Nintendo to Game Boy Advance, to Game Boy Color, to Genesis, and I think it's a few more, but anyway, that's basically the gist of it, why am I doing that, get off of them, okay, the Bugs Life, Dinosaurs, da 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 Afterburner, Afterburner 32 times X, da 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 they got a bunch of different games you can choose from. I don't know what all you guys played in your childhood, but I play my childhood games. And I play those on every Wednesday, on Way Back Wednesday videos. So if you are tuning in on those, I would gladly appreciate it. So once again, I'm just make a quick brief run of how to play these games again. Once again, on Sega Emulator, you're going to go to Play Store. You're going to look up Gen Plus Droid. Once you do that, you're going to come to the game. I mean, I... Wait, wait, you, you're going to want a game. I'm sorry. You're going to want a game. Once you do that, you're going to go to your browser. Type in free ROMs. Free ROMs dot com. Boom. And once you do that, it's going to bring you to the game platforms, the console platform. So you're going to click on whichever one you're looking for. It doesn't matter if you're looking for Flash games, Game Gear, whatever. It'll bring up all the games that mostly was on the system, which I recall it has all the games. But I don't want to tell you that, and then you can't find something you, you're looking for. So don't, you know, take that with a grain of salt, basically. But... I will say it has 95% of the video games that I played in the past, or 98% at least. I've, I've only failed to find one game. So anyway, that's the gist of it. And once you come from free ROMs, you're going to go to load ROM. I mean the Gen Plus Droid, your Sega emulator, whichever one you may have. You're going to go to parent directory, parent directory. You're going to go to download. Once you go to download, I just passed it. Once you go to download, you're going to click on whichever Sega game you have. See, I have Nintendo 64 games here. Sega games, Game Boy Color games, freaking, I had PlayStation games, but it's all right. Anyway, basically, you're going to click on what you're looking for. I'm clicking on Pac-Man. Someone asked me about this game specifically. I used to love the shit out of this game, which I still do. Um... I'm going to try to finish this and make another video on this game for you guys, but I'm not going to play it right now, but be sure that you tune in for that. And yeah, this is Pac-Man 2. Adventures. The new adventures. How about that? <laughs> fun game, fun game. I will say this, this is a fun game. What always was a fun game and still is a fun game. So... Yeah, fast forward that, fast forward that. And see, with this emulator, you can fast forward the game. Get to where you're trying to go a little faster. You can always press start and skip through it. But it works just like the regular Sega game. X, Y, and Z does nothing for this game, so don't worry about pressing it. Depends on what games use what button, layout, and whatnot. But anyway, long story short, that's how you basically get your emulator in your games to play. Hey, look at Pac-Man's house back there. But, um, uh, yeah. This has been Schaefer on Anime Shea. And if it's anything you're trying to figure out and which games do you want to play, please let me know. And we can definitely do a video on it. Once again, this has been your boy Schaefer on Anime Shea. Please tune in every week, every weekend. Peace.